Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Shopify Flow for beginners in 2024. So today we're going to explore Shopify Flow, which is an automation tool designed to help you streamline your business operations and save time. Whether you're managing inventory, processing orders, or engaging with customers, Shopify Flow can automate repetitive tasks and enhance your store efficiency. So let's dive into how to start using Shopify Flow and let's get started. Make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access your Shopify admin panel. To do so, go and open a browser, then go to the URL section. Of course, for me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. So once you go to this URL, type shopify.com, hit the enter button. This should take you to the home screen, main screen. Click on login if you have an account. If you don't, click on start free trial. You can use Google if you don't want to get through all the more steps of creating or even logging into your account. Once you click on login, you should be taken to the admin panel. If you click on create an account, you'll be able to create a uh, new store. You'll have to basically answer some questions. You can or you can skip them all and you'll find yourself with your new store. Once you are here, as we said, we should be now at the admin panel. This is the admin panel. So here, all you need to do is simply navigate into apps where you'll find apps as example. Here's it. Just go and click on that. You'll find this. So click on all recommended apps to see all the recommended apps. Then click on Shopify App Store so we can access the Shopify App Store. And here in the Shopify App Store, use the search bar at the top. All you need to do is simply look for Shopify Flow. And as you can see, here is it. Just go and click on that. And here we are. Pricing, free. As you can see, free to use and highlights popular with new businesses, marketing sales or making sales. Then use directly in Shopify Admin. Rating, as you can see, this is the average. You can click on it to see what people are saying about. So, as an example, people are giving it five stars. People are giving it one star. So, even one star, like, Shopify are replying to it. Like, as an example, they are trying to uh, understand what's happening and uh, help them, maybe. So, you can read, like, what's good about it, what's bad about it, if they respond well, if they uh, try to fix it, and etc. That's up to you. And, of course, here you can see, like, the features that come with, comes with it. So, automate your store with hundreds of example templates for popular use cases, customize by adding conditional logic as many as, uh, of course, and as many actions as you need, work with tags, meta fields, fulfillment, B2B, Slack, uh, Google Sheets, and more. And, as you can see, you can even hear, or you have a small video, like, we'll understand you or make you understand a bit as an example about meet Shopify store, library of integration, uh, building blocks of flow, flow benefit like email campaigns uh, as example limitless opportunities and even like no coding needed so some informations that you'll need about the shopify flow if you know nothing about us make sure to watch the video small two minutes will take zero time from you here you have some of the screenshots like about the app how it's going to look like for example if the inventory like quantity changed it will check if the total inventory is less or equal than one if yes it will do this otherwise it will go and check this example so basically the flow it's like a graph set if you've uh, studied this before maybe in school like i did at least so here you can click on a cell of course you can see when it's launched language is supported just english at the moment and categories and works with what as an example slack email google sheets trello asana club you a lot of things so here uh, once you click on a cell, we'll be taken here. If you agree to all of those, just go and click or hit the install button, and it should be you should be taken to uh, their page right away. So just wait for the app until it's installed. It should not take a lot of time, and we should be good to go. As an example, so just wait. As you can see, Flow is not available in your plan. So Flow is not available is available to the basic Shopify Advanced and plus plans if you are using free trial please choose a plan then try again so it seems at the moment i cannot try flow why uh, because i'm using the just the free trial on shopify so i'll not be able to use of course for you can if you have the same problem you can simply click on select plan and you can start even with the basic plan for the first month you can even choose this shopify plan as you can see it's a little bit uh like not cheaper than this one as you can see like kind of 70 dollar per month after the first month of course you can even go with advanced so all of these features as you can see other than plus you'll pay one dollar per the first month then you'll start paying i guess as a starter maybe basic is enough so 
you can even try with just one month like the advanced feature if you like it you can go back to basic after the first month it's up to you really you can even try the post uh pro as you can see free for one month then you'll have to start paying like 80 dollars per month depending on whatever you want you can even see here the full list of features that comes with this depending on whatever you want as we said so in order for me to explain a little bit how to start using it as an example i'll just go back to the screenshots uh, of it so as you can see in here so basically here you'll be able to choose actions then conditions uh, all you need to do of course basically start when as you can see so always use start with start when so start when as an example the option here is order created you can choose whatever you want like orders created products added uh, new subscriber added etc there is a lot of options that you can choose then as an example once you start with this you can simply check something like what if uh, if i add of course starts maybe with a new subscriber so if this new subscriber for example subscribe to the newsletter if yes then as example add them to this collection or add them to this specific tags otherwise you can simply do nothing or add them to the other tags and or etc so basically you have your actions as you can see you have actions with a lot of things as you can see so as we said before so let me just go back here to show you exactly what it can be uh, logged in into so shopify like flow as we said so it can be connected as you can see to slack email the google sheets trello asana so as example you can even choose as an action so check if like condition of course you'll find this in condition check if and uh, this as we said like if he subscribed or something like that as we, as i said you can do whatever you want do this so maybe add a new sheets on google sheets or maybe add something in clavio or maybe as you can see a lot of apps that you can connect to you can simply search it if you find this you should be uh, good to go once you finish all the flow that you have basically just go and turn it on of course make sure to see or test it if it's working if it's working click on turn it off on and it should be good to go it should be working and yeah that should be it so this is gonna be it for me today Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.